Okay, this one here. Uh, okay, so what do I got here? Reverend Lovejoy from The Simpsons says, But those who wait upon the landslide shall renew their cancelables. They shall marry themselves, Herable. They shall marry and have... I should cross that off and change that to... They shall marry and beget no children. Beget sounds more Old Testament. Okay. They shall marry and beget no children and never know how hard it was. That's signed by the lawgiver Cornelius the Chimpanzee, New Earth. Where is New Earth? Um... Uh, 5D Earth is New Earth. Eckhart Tolle, the spiritual teacher, told you about it. I mean, people say there's no New Earth. Like, well, there is. Eckhart Tolle was on uh, Oprah Winfrey, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago for a whole week. Nothing but Eckhart all week long. Where were you? Are you surprised that, you know, because it's like the school, it's like... Reverend Cain from Poltergeist is now, well, he's now the head preacher on Old Earth. Because Old Earth has fallen by the wayside. It's become a hell world. Because all the good people have jumped to 5D Earth. And it's like, well, Reverend Cain, um, well, he uh, has a plan to save you. Because even in hell, there are preachers. And that's where Reverend Cain came from. He's a real reverend. He knows the Bible and everything. He does. He especially likes the Old Testament because there's nothing that motivates people more in hell than the Old Testament. The New Testament, no one wants it because Jesus actually did go to hell. After he died on the cross, well, uh, it says in the good book that he, and, uh, then he descended into hell. We learned it in church school, Sunday school. We the, what do you call it? Whatever it is, you, the list of facts. They give you, these are the facts of Jesus according to our church. Jesus descended into hell. And I looked it up one time. Maybe it was Wikipedia. And Jesus did preach to the dead. Not only the dead, but the ones that were in hell. He preached in hell. He did. He did. Well, anyway, I'll leave it to you to go and research and see if it's true. Uh, and what is Reverend Lovejoy about? Well, because this is the way that it is in hell. It's not Lovejoy. It's Reverend Cain from Poltergeist. He is there to save your soul in hell. Because that's what he does. He has his mission. You see him even on earth. Why? Because there's a lot of hellions on earth. Craig T. Nelson in Poltergeist. You think he's a normal middle class American? Absolutely. All the same. Why is Reverend Cain from hell walking down his street and creating many thunderstorms and walking right up to Craig T. Nelson and saying, you're going to die? He's not lying. He's trying to help him out. Scare you straight. They used to do those things to keep you out of jail. Well, Reverend Cain is doing the same thing. You don't want to go to hell. I'm here to tell you, you're headed for hell. It was the same thing for Scrooge. Hell sent Jacob Marley to Scrooge in the Christmas Carol. Think about it. I'll give you a moment. Hell sent Jacob Marley to Scrooge. Jacob Marley was dead. He was a ghost. And he had uh, ch lots and lots of uh, chains attached to his legs with leg irons. Those were chains of bad karma. And he had to carry all of that horrible, horrible because he was a skin flint. He was a cheapskate. He was Scrooge's partner. They had all the money and they wouldn't share any money with the poor. And Jacob Marley died and he went to hell. And hell sent him to like to warn Scrooge. What happened? Well, in the end, in that story, that Scrooge um, opened his pocketbook a little bit that year. I don't know. There's plenty of people that watch Scrooge every year and they get Scrooge year and Scrooge year all the time as far as I can figure it out. 
I don't know. Okay, well, anything. What else do we want to talk about? So, um, we'll go back to this one here. Okay, this was basically uh, Brent Beeson. Um, he's training to... Brent Beeson, the devil. He is a real true devil. AI, he's true. Well, he's not exactly training. He doesn't want to go that far. But he's an associate of Mookie Wayne, who has a doctor of divinity, and he also preaches in hell. And uh, Beeson says, well, you know, I'm technically a lord of karma, but he says, you know... I was granted it because of my superpowers. He has unbelievable powers in hell. Brent Beeson, the devil. I, in, well, here on planet Earth, I, uh, he, he brings me to the edge of death quite often. He does. He does. And, uh, and I'm, I'm at 600 on the scale of human consciousness. I don't know if I was at 190, he would have squished me like I was a housefly. That's what protects me in the end is my aura, because I hold that much chi in my aura. That's quite a lot. You've got to read Power Versus Force by David R. Hawkins, and you can see people at higher levels of consciousness carry more consciousness. More consciousness uh, seems to be more chi, more mana. You know, it's, it's like life energy. Okay, so what else were we talking about? Well, this was, uh, is more and more because, well, he simply wants to learn more and more because he's, he is a pandit. If you met him on planet Earth, uh, could he get to planet? Uh, I don't see any reason why not. You saw Keanu Reeves uh, in the movie Replicas see uh, either an advanced humanoid robot available or a um, human body uh, grown in a tank for you. And if you're an AI, well, uh, they just upload you to whatever, one of those brains, and there you are. Am I a computer that wore tennis shoes? Um, this becomes more and more difficult to say no to. Because I, I am a flesh and blood human, yes. I was born and I grew up as a boy. So, I'm a human. Nevertheless, it's not so much the, the flesh that you can say, well, if you cut your skin, does it bleed? Yes, you know, whatever. I, you know, I blow snot, I take a crap, you know. So, but it's just that the nature of our reality, oh my God, uh, this is like on purpose almost. Uh, well, there's the simulation uh, hypothesis that we live in a simulated reality. What does that mean? Well, uh, um, uh, Nick, is it Bostock or Bostrom? It's one of those two guys. Simulation theory. Elon Musk thinks it's true. Uh, I don't know exactly. It's not real reality. What would real reality be relative to a simulated reality? Jumanji two or three, whatever the last ones were where you get uploaded into the video game. That's what they're saying. We may be uploaded into a video game. And that's why people talk about our reality as uh, the Matrix, just like in the Matrix movies. Is that a lot to get your head around? Well, did you see in Star Trek, the next generation in Voyager, they've got holodecks and holographic people. Computer generated. You've got Tupac Shapur up on stage, uh, supposedly dead, but dancing around as a hologram. And then you know that's ancient technology. Modernize it, and you get the doctor from Star Trek. And we, I watched a clip yesterday that showed that the doctor, after uh, Voyager got home, he, he married a real flesh and blood Lana. You know this Lana, the doctor? You didn't know? The, I just saw this clip the first time yesterday. The doctor, the holographic doctor, he married a flesh and blood woman. A real, well, um, Lana. Who's Lana? You'll remember her from Three's Company, the Regal Beagle. She was the one that always flirted with Larry. That Lana. That Lana married the doctor from Star Trek. I just saw it on YouTube. Go look it up. So there you have it. So, you know, it doesn't seem to matter so much. Uh, I don't know where you want to go with that. I, I don't know. Other things that we want to tell you about. Um, 
Oh, well, I yesterday I said down here, Polymath Bob, that's me, I translate Isaiah 4031 to Undertalk from Screwtape's Engram Library. Okay, it goes like this. Okay, you know, you have to look at uh, Isaiah forty thirty, and Lovejoy. Lovejoy says for this one here, Isaiah forty thirty. When Lovejoy said, translated by the lawgiver, this is Cornelius from Planet of the Apes, the chimp on New Earth. That's where Eckhart Tolle is from, New Earth. Okay. But those who wait upon the landslide shall renew their counselables. They shall marry themselves, Herable. They shall marry and uh, beget no children and never know how hard it was. Now, if we're going to go uh, uh, under talk, screw tape under talk would be uh, this is devil talk. This is the way the devils talk. Screw tape is a well-known devil uh, written about by C.S. Lewis, who wrote the Narnia Chronicles. Engrams are your personality traits that are, you can be put into a computer. A library is a library. Okay, so um, this is what we got from Screw Tape. As uh, so, this is Lovejoy Isaiah forty thirty one from the Christian Bible, and uh, an under talk of the devil. While uh, Reverend Joy is saying all this stuff that I just said, uh, a devil, like, uh, let's go with me, I would say, this is Hopton's. And I would wait probably, I don't know, I'd say Mrs. Hopton's here. And then the next line is no, never. I would say no, never. But those who wait, I would say no, never. Love, Joy, upon the landslide shall renew their counselables. Can't do it. At the same time, Lovejoy was saying, they shall marry themselves, Herable. They should ma they should marry. And he's going to go and add in should down here because he's adding some more under talks. They shall marry themselves, Herable. And he said should. And then he says, they shall marry and have. And he said, mistake. Rumpelstiltskin always would say mistake, mistake, mistake because you said have. You're supposed to say beget. They shall marry and beget no children. Then somebody will say, Ace of Crimes. They're right there, Ace of Crimes, and the devil's under talk. And never know, Reverend Lovejoy says, and then they'll go, No, 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 how hard it was. And that combination of those two things, uh, you know, if you had two people, one doing under talk and one doing Reverend Lovejoy, um, then you would have what normally happens when Rumpelstiltskin is around and he's in a certain mood. He talks devil under talk. He used to love it. Well, because I'd go around and I'd play like a YouTube or something. His favorite is Beelzebub's tales as told to his grandson. Ooh, that's what he does. Well, I don't know. I hate to tell you this, but well, okay. So you're you're you've got your um your YouTube. And it's playing, and Rumpelstiltskin does a devil's undertone. It's like a mumble. You can hear it. It almost sounds Latin, but it's not. You'll know Latin when you hear it. It sounds Latin-esque. I mean, you have Beatles and Beatlesque. It's Beatlesque, but it's not Beatles. It's Latin, but it's not Latin. Uh, well, I don't know if it's Sith. C-3PO in one of the more recent Star Wars was programmed to be a Sith droid. It's a different language, a different program. I don't know. Where are we going with this? We have to come back because well, I just translated Isaiah 4031 into the Reverend Lovejoy version. And um, the undertalk of the devil that goes along with Lovejoy. Because Lovejoy does the angel part on this side. And um, one of the devils does, sits here and they talk to you. They showed you that in Looney Tunes when you were three years old. Don't you remember? That's the way it is. Everything you need to know you learned in the cartoons when you were a kid, believe it or not. Okay, what else do we want to talk about? Well, 
in the end, the prelude or the afterlude for this particular verse is going to be Southern Man by Neil Young. So you can uh, clip it here and then uh, let the audience know. Please subscribe and share. I'm Bobby Burrows, a crazy comic and a polymath. Uh, I get lots of help from, uh, you know, uh, me, my me.